against all your favorite characters. Here are the Teletubbies. They love to play. Now, uh, which way does it go? Postman Pat's trying to help, but he seems to have got carried away. Don't leave yet. Come back. I want to get off. Never away, Fireman Sam. Okay, James. If you're in trouble... Just relax now. I'll try. You need Fireman Sam. Pingu loves to play. <laughs> and he's sure to make you laugh. We need an extra porter tonight. Ooh, can I be a porter? Thank you. All aboard! All aboard! Watch out, Noddy. Mind that hand. Find all your friends on this fantastic range of videos. And you can hear them on these story tapes. Read about them in our wide range of books, from activity books and sticker books to bath time books. Don't forget the magazines. And these CD-ROMs will provide hours of fun with puzzles and games. BBC Worldwide, a chance to meet all your favorite characters. of the ever cheerful, debonair, Trevor Evans, the bus. Or, um, 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 oh, 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 Fireman Sam's just finishing his breakfast. High winds this morning in South Wales, but moderating later in the day. Mm. Gay warnings in I quite like windy days. Wind blows those cobwebs away. I know. I think I'll give Sarah and James a ring. Perhaps we could go to the park after I finish my shift. Odd. That's very odd. The phone's dead. Pronto, pronto. Hello, hello. Oh, il telefono. He not work. Hello there, Bella. I love my usual. Cheese and chutney sandwiches, please. Sandwiches. How make the sandwiches? I got no bread. I phoned the baker, but the phone no work. Oh, mamma mia. Hmm. Leave it to me, Bella. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Sarah, James. Oh, Mr. Evans, can you drop us off at the park, please? Hop in, then. Oh, that's a nice kite you got there. I'll show you how to fly it. But we know, Mr. Evans. Not as well as me, my sugar lumps. Make me some tea, make me some tea. Make me a lovely cup of tea. 
You got you got any plans today, son? Not very easy to make plans, Elvis. The phones are dead. Dead? Oh, that's sad, man. Oh, Darrow. Now who needs the fire service? Get to work, man. Telegraph fell down on the new town road. All present and correct, sir. Right, let's go. Here we are, sir. Here's the cause of the trouble. Yes, yes, here is the cause of the trouble. Trouble? It's not on fire. Yes, we know. But it's a danger to traffic. Oh. Oh, yes. Dillis Price wants to get Mummy's little Norman from under her feet. I want to watch the telly. That's all you ever do. You'll have square eyes, my sweet. Oh, Mum. Now then, off you go to have a lovely play in the park. Norman! Scram! Now then, you hold the kite like so. Keep the string tight, arm's length. Oh, oh, it snapped. Now don't worry, it'll be up in no time. Oh, oh, no, hang on a minute. Oh, no, no, come back here. No, come, come to Trevor. Oh, oh. It's well. Oh, Mr. Evans, look out. Oh, 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 sorry, Mr. Evans. It's quite all right, Norman. All systems go, Cridlington. Yeah, go, man, go. <coughs> I, no, I, I mean, all systems go, sir. Right, Fireman Sam, reverse mode. Yes, sir. Come on, Jupiter. Back a bit. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that, right, that, that, that'll do. Okay, man, make up another job. Well done. There. We leave the rest to the telephone engineers. Well, I don't know what the world's coming to. No telephone now. Mamma mia! Che cosa? Oh, do you have to be so dramatic? Oh! Well, I never... I'll just tell Bella that the telephone problem's in answer. Uh, quite right, Fireman Sam. Well, that's it, ladies. We've done our bit. The, uh, the tele... The te oh, what's, that, what's that kite doing on your roof, dearest? Nothing to do with me, Sam. I don't know. He, he just fly there now. Mm. Looks like Sarah and James's. Well, we'll get it down this time as a special favour. Don't you fall, mind? Ah, oh, bellissimo. You worry about our son. No. My apples. Oh. Uh, mind, uh, mind yourself, ladies. Yes, uh, ladder coming through. Extend. Well, into the building. You worry about your apples. What if he fall? I won't fall, Bella. I've done this a thousand times, I have. Right, here we are. Well, it won't be long now. Right then. Uh, it, oh, oh, oh. Oh. Steady, sir. Careful! Um, uh, mm, uh, um, right. There. Got it. Hooray! Uh, good for you, Fireman Sam. Hooray! Bravo, 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 ah! bravo. Oh, yes, he's so brave. <laughs>
There we are. I hope you didn't break anything up there. And you tell Sarah and James to look after things in future, mind. Norman, no, he's never lost anything. Yes, all right, dearie. Uncle Sam, come quickly. It's Mr. Evans. He's hurt his arm and lost our kite. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, I, I can see the problem. Uh, ba ba bandages. <coughs> hmm? Oh, bandages. Uh, uh, not to worry. Uh, nothing too serious, eh? Ah, uh, that arm will be fine in no time at all. I'm not surprised. Is the other one that hurts? <laughs> I don't think you'd better drive home with two bad arms, Trapper. Sorry about the kite, kids. Oh, it, it's all right, Mr. Evans. Huh. I, I wonder where it's got to, though. Well, now, take a look over there. Oh, thanks, thanks Uncle a lot, Sam. Uncle Sam. It's a sunny day today in Ponty Panty. Ideal for cleaning fire engines. But there's mischief in the air. Naughty Norman Price. I can hear him. I can't see him. Uncle Sam? Where are you, Uncle Sam? Hello, you too. Oh, there you are. Will you come and play football in the park with me? And me? And Sarah? Well, I'd love to. You can be goalie, see? And, and I'll score a hat-trick. But I can't. Thing is, today is the day I have to give Jupiter a special once-over. Oh. Oh. Now, how about giving me a hand? Um, well, to tell the truth, Uncle Sam, We'd rather play football. Aye, I thought as much. Go on, off you go. Phew. It's a close shave, that. Now then. Polish first, I think. Soon have you gleaming, Jupiter. Hello? What's this? Boot polish? <laughs> Someone's playing tricks around here. Oh, 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 oh. Norman's mum, Dillis Price, is busy keeping an eye on Ponty Panty. Tricks, Dillis. How's Trevor then? All the better for seeing you, my lovely. Oh, you are cheeky, Trevor. Nice cup of tea. Kettle's on the stove. Sorry, Dill. Got to drop the bread in at Bella's. Hey, lovely apples you got. Mm. See you later. Well. My name? 
Now who needs the fire service? Fire at Bella Lasagna's cafe! What about mine then, Bella? Oh, a lot of milk and no sugar. That's right, Bella. Sweet enough as I am, see? Oh, Trevore. Oh. What's that Bella lasagna you got that I haven't? Oh. A fire. That's what she's got. What's up, Sarge? Just tell us where the fire is. Fire? Fire, Station Officer Steele? Yes, fire, Bella. He's over there where it always is. Oh, no. It's a false alarm, sir. Hmm. Come on, men. Make up. Very sorry, Mrs. Lasagna. Sorry, Bella. Um, sorry, um, Bella. Mamma mia! You're beautiful when you're angry. Good. There's no one in the yard. Smashing. There's no one in the yard either. Oh, great. Just what I need for my next trick. Well, at this grease will speed them up. Oh. Mm, is it? Is it? Can't you got a ball? Hmm? Is it? You got a ball, is it? Hmm? Is it? Is it? Go! Go! Someone's playing tricks again. <laughs> of course. After him, fireman, sir. Mom! Just wait till I catch up with you, Norman Price. <laughs> Fireman Sam? Oh, yes. Allow me, sir. A coat of this nasty, slimy grease will soon get you out of there, Norman. Yeah, it's great for making things slide. Oh, Mummy's little darling. Great. You didn't have to clean Jupiter after all. Well, you see, I got a very willing helper. Yes, that's it, Master Price. Plenty of elbow grease. Uh, elbow grease. Hey, that's that's a good one, isn't it? So you 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 made a joke there. Ah <laughs> yes, 
Yes, that's right. That's right, Kiddington. <laughs> In a field above Pontibandi, on a rather hot day, Sarah and James are picking potatoes for Bella Lasagna. Oh, it's hard work, this. Girls, 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 moan, moan, moan. Come on, let's just get the job done. Just because you know Bella will give you some ice cream, greedy. Listen, it's Uncle Sam and Jupiter. Well, sir, a day and a half this has been. It's the weather, I suppose. That's right, Five and Sam. Uh, blazing hot weather means lots of fires. Hey, Cridlington? Hey, boy, oh, I, you blazer, sir. A, bla a blazing hot uh, weather. Uh, too, too right, to man. Um, sir. Who, who's in that field over there, Sam? Oh, that's Sir and Jim. What are you doing in Bella's potato patch? Picking potatoes for tomorrow's chips. It's hard, mind. My back aches. <laughs> Does it now? Well, let's have a think. Yes, good idea, that, helping Bella. Carry on the good work. Bye, Uncle Sam. Bye, Uncle Sam. Dillis Price is busy packing a picnic for Mummy's little darling, Norman. There you are, my sweet. Oh, Mum, where am I supposed to go? I don't know what to play with. But go fishing, Norman. You don't love going fishing, don't you, my sweet? Oh, fishing? I don't want to. Look, Norman, I don't care if you do want to or do not want to go fishing. And you do go fishing. Now then, off you do go. Norman? Oh, Mummy's little darling. Now, now, Doris, now, I'm, now, I won't be late. Mm, oh, oh, um, now we'll make the fire service. Barn fire, Pandy Lane Farm. All present under correct, sir. Right, let's go. Yeah, good fun fishing, really. Now, let's see. Ah, uh, jump tart. Oh, maggots. Look at that, we've, we've only filled half a bucket. Oh, that's 
son is like something serious. Great fires of London, I say. Men. Come on, let's get this one before it spreads. That's it, men. On the double. Water on, sir. Water on. scorcher under control in two shakes and it'll be another job well done. How's the water level, sir? The what? Uh, the what? Uh, oh. Oh. It's going out fast. How's the fire? It's going out slow, sir. Oh, there's a bit of problem there, sir. Not at all, Pimmington. Um, well, well, what do we do when the water runs out? Oh, we, uh, we look uh, for the uh, nearest, nearest hydrant, sir. No hydrants round here, sir. Ah, oh. Uh, well, we look for a drain and pump the water out. No drains either, sir. It's, it's all open country. Oh, dear. Um... Bumblebee, spelly button. A bite? I do believe I got a bite. Lush! Drat. Fat lot of good that is. Fire nearly out, sir. Good. Oh, water did it out. Oh, um, what water out, sir? <laughs> well, yes, I, I knew that'd be enough. That, uh, yeah, that, that, that was lucky, wasn't it, sir? I've just remembered. There's a pond down the road. Perhaps we'd better fill Jupiter up and come back to dump things down anyway, sir. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, right, then. Yes, I think we should come back and dump things down anyway. Man the engine! Hmm? Oh, oh, it better be a fish this time. Oh, drat and double drat. Crumbs. I've done it now. I pulled the bag out. Yes, that's full. Right, knock off, chaps. Well done. Ah. Now all those bits and pieces have given me an idea. Hmm. Braille, Uncle Sam. But what is it? Ah. Now let me demonstrate the Samuel Peyton potato picker. There we are. Potatoes picked. Oh, thanks a bunch, Uncle Sam. Uh, do you do deliveries too, Uncle Sam? I think we can give you a lift back to Bellas. Hey, sir, quite right. And you can give them a hand with the potatoes, Quillington. Eh? Oh, oh right, 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 oh, sir. Bella Lasagna's Cafe next stop, eh? Come on, kids. I, 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 I'll take your buckets. And I think it's ice creams all round. Nash. Greedy guts. Right, you two, in you get. Oh, he's Jupiter. Perhaps I can have a lift. Oi, wait for me. Oh, darn off.
Norman Price has gone out for a spot of fishing. Brilliant! I got the best maggots in Ponty Pandy, and there's more in my maggot farm under Mum's bed. Oh, hiya, Rosa. What are you doing out here? Come for a walk, have you? I make the mini pizzas. Great, Bella. I love mini pizzas. And I bring the picnic fish for Rosa. And it's Norman Price going for the biggest cast of his fishing career. Oh! Crumbs, I got a bite already. Oi! There must be more where that came from. What a spread. Oh, they didn't invite me on their picnic. Rosa, is a time to eat. I think I'll do some chocolate cream eclair fisher next. <laughs> Naughty, but nice. Wow. No, what did no buzz off? No need, no private party, no wasps. Look, it's Norman. Interesting. Help! Drop the cake. That's what they want, not you. Oh, find us keepers. Oh, okay. Oh. oh. Now, where's he go to? We don't know. No, man. Where are you, Norman? Look. There's a hole in the ground. Listen. Help. He's down there. Bella, Norman's fallen down this hole. Mamma mia! Is the old coal mine under here? I'd better phone the fire brigade. Yes, James, quickly. Detector. Air's not too healthy down there, sir. High level of poisonous gas. Right. Mask up, men. Breathing apparatus on the double. <coughs> oh, a little fall won't be Norman Price. I'll find a way out. Somehow. <coughs> Is all your equipment correct, Fireman Sam? Yes, sir. Carry on. I'm lowering now. Fireman Sam to Station Officer Steel. I reached the floor. I am now tying off the guideline and standing clear. Roger, Fireman Sam, out. Now then, Fireman Cridlington, it's your turn. Oh, 
Well, I, I did the wrong step there. I well, now's not the time for jitterbugging, Elvis. Oh, it's like the black hole of Kelka. Can't see him, sir. Moving further down tunnel. Over. Proceed with caution. You have 20 minutes of oxygen left. Did you hear that? I'm on, Norman. We're on our way. <coughs> oh, oh. Hey, sorry, Sam. Careful, Elvis. We don't need another casualty down here. <laughs> I can't breathe. Now, don't you worry, Norman. We'll soon have you out safely. Now, here you are, boy. You put this over your face. You'll be fine in no time. Oxygen on, Elvis. Oxygen on, Sam. We've located Norman, sir. He's safe and well. Making our way back. Over. Well done, Fireman Sam. Over. Great. Terrific. Isn't nothing like a happy ending. What's that? Calling station officer Steele. The tunnel roof's caving in. We have a problem. Over. Stay back, Norman. Wait. Oh, we'll never get through that, will we? Fireman Sam to station officer Steele. Instructions, please. Over. Calling Station Officer Steele. Come in, please. Over. No response. The radio's had it. We're on our own now, with only five minutes of oxygen left. Wow. It's Rosa. Now then, Rosa, how did you get in here? Well, not the same way as us, I'm sure. Which means there might be another way out. Come on, boys. Let's go. <laughs> there she was. She led us out of that underground prison. Buenissimo, Rosa. I love you. Is Norman all right? Of course he is. Lovely boy, my Norman. What was it you wanted to say, darling? Uh, thank you, James, for phoning. Thank you, Fireman Sam, for finding me. And most of all, thank you, Rosa, for showing me the way out. <laughs> I tell you what, Bella, we could have Rosa as an auxiliary firefighter.
It's Sarah and James' last day of school before the Easter holidays. <whistles> Come on, Norman! It's the best day of term, remember? Best for you, maybe. I got to do the spelling test again. Hello, you two. Now, how about a cream egg for break time? Oh, yes, please, Uncle Sam. Oh! Well, I never... Morning, Dillis. What a calamity, Sam. There's a chicken pox epidemic all over the valley. Anyway, there's the story. Look. Rash of chicken pox covers Ponty Pandy. Popping up all over the place, it is. If you ask me, it's those sell-by deeds that's doing it. Mom, I've got spots. I knew it. He's so sensitive, you see. I'll go to bed after I come home from school, is it, Mum? You won't go near that school today, my sweet, in case you get a double dose. What a cheat. See you. Bye. The sunny side down. Elvis's eggs won't make you frown. Bacon rushes really grilled. Leaves your tummy well and truly filled. Uh, here you are, Trevor. Sausage, bacon, and eggs. Now, what, what's next? Oh, yes. Uh, 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 stew into the oven. Why don't you have a bowl of muesli, Trevor, instead of all that greasy food? Morning, man. Today's drill... <coughs> is, uh, ...is fitness training. And I'm pleased to welcome our good friend, firefighter Penny Morris... Who's come to put us through our paces? Oh, no. Norman! I'm off across the road to Ballas for my elevenses. Now, you wrap up warm, my sweet. Yes. Oh, all right, Mum. Oh, I'm not wasting a day off lying in bed. What a great performance. Brill. <laughs> Ready, everybody? Down and up and down and up. Come on, sir, stretch those legs. Yes, I, uh, I, I, I do have to be rather careful about my back, goodness and dear. Down and up. And, that's fine, Fireman Sam. Uh, do, down and uh, uh, up and no. Touch your toes, Trevor. I well, I don't know when I last saw my toes pet. Oh. Uh, oh, that's torn it. Hmm. What a dismal display, Fireman Gridlington and Evans. There's nothing for it but timed jogging. Pondy Pandy Farm and back. On your marks. Get set. And go. Sounds like an order, that Elvis. It's Norman Price, the fastest stone slinger in the West. Oh, oh I've, I've had it, Trev. Uh, I, I thought this jogging lock was supposed to <coughs> do you good. It's wrecking me. It must be a fun run. Well, I think I'll have some fun too. Ooh. Yes, this, this ought to do the trick. Oh, oh. oh. That's it. I'll get back and watch. Well, that's odd. I could have sworn Ponty Pandy was over there. You see, we're having mirages like they have in the Sierra Ara. <laughs> have a nice trip. Tins. Tins. Oh, dear. Not a fresh vegetable in sight. Ah, information collated, sir. I'd better get back to HQ. Very good, Firefighter Morris. Uh, Cridlington and Evans are taking their time. Well, too much exercise for unfit people can be dangerous, sir. Oh, oh really? Yes, of course. Well, I think Fireman Sam and I had better check their own course. We 
should have come across them by now, son. I probably just stopped off for a tea at Bella, sir. I'm glad I spotted you here. <laughs> there they are, sir. Miles off course. A bus driver with no sense of direction. Mm. Hey, some's come to save us. <sighs> hey, what? Oh, am I glad to see you. Good heavens. Chicken pox. What? Hey, you got you got spots. Jupiter nine 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 from WP. Over. Uh, uh WP from Jupiter nine nine nine. Uh, over. Fire at Ponty Pandy Fire Station. Over. Fire at the fire station. Uh, Wilco Jupiter nine nine nine. Over. I think we need all hands WP. for this one, sir. Spots Out. or not. Quite right, Fireman Dam. Uh, on board, men. Stew and dumplings gone west. Well, lucky it wasn't the fire station too, Elvis. Hey, just a minute. Just wipe your face again. Hmm. Now, I wonder who you could have caught that from. How's the invalid then? Oh, he's, he's been in bed all day, he has. Hello, Mum. Look, no spots. I'm better. No, you can't be better yet, my sweet. See, you're still covered in them. But I can't be. Oh. You won't be able to wipe those off so easily, my lad. Oh. Hi, Norman. Mrs. Williams says not to worry about the spelling test. Great. You can do it after the holidays. Mom, I feel mega sick.
atmosphere so thick in Ponty Pandy this morning that you could cut it with a knife. Norman's been letting off stink bombs again. Oh, Norman? Yes, Mum? That smells permanent through the whole house. It was an accident, honest. Accident by foot. Well, someone's got to clean the shop right through. Well, I do it, Mum, but I got to go to Penny Morris's house for tea with Sarah and James, and we're off to the pictures after. Well, I'll just have to tell her you can't oh, go. Mum. Jupiter and her crew are returning to Ponty Pond. Oh, uh, uh, Sam, I think there's smoke across there. No, that's not smoke, Elvis. That's hill fog. And it's getting thicker by the minute. It'll be a real pea soup later. Well, I never. It do say here uh, in my horoscope that the world is my oyster. No, what do you think of that then? Oh, you know, believe the horoscope, Sir Mrs. Surprise. Is a rubbish, the fortune telling. Mrs. Lasagna, my grandmother came from pure Romany stock. She once told me that I would have a son who'd be Prime Minister of Wales one day. Norman? Ha! How was she know that? Tea leaves, of course. And what's more, she passed the craft on to me. Have you finished? Oh. Well, I think your luck is in. I see a man. He's dark and handsome. Oh, I see travel too. And uh, yes, you're going to meet him soon. Cool, that's amazing. Will you tell our fortunes, Mrs. Price? Oh. Oh, I, I see you going on a long journey. This afternoon, to Newtown. Wow, that's incredible. And what else? Well, um, there's so much to see, see? Ha <laughs> ha, there you are. Come on, you two. We're supposed to leave on time. Mamma mia, is the dark and the handsome man. Who? Oh, Trevor? Oh, well, there you are, you see. My predicament come true. Hello, you too. Hello, Uncle Sam. Hello. Oh, look at those. Can you stop here, Mr. Evans, so we can pick those daisies? We'll walk the rest of the way. All right, my sugar lumps. Cheerio. Thanks, Mr. Evans. Thanks. Brilliant. Penny loves flowers. Come on. Just a few more. We'll miss the film. No, we won't. There. Uh, Sarah, I can't see the gate. It's over there. It's not. Oh, then it's got to be this way. No, it's not. Oh, we're lost. Good afternoon, Ponty Ponty Fire Station. Sam, it's Penny. Look, have you seen Sarah and James? They should be here by now. And with this fog, I'm a bit worried. Well, it's strange, that. Hey, Penny, can you meet me halfway? Now, they've got to be somewhere between Ponty Pandy and Newtown. Will do. I hope they're all right. I am and Sam to Firefighter Penny Morris. Over. Go ahead, Sam. Over. Whereabouts are you? Good question, Sam. I can't see any landmarks. Oh, just a minute. Here are some headlights. Uh, hang on, Penny. There's a car. <laughs> Heavens, it's Jupiter. Oh, that was close. I always said we needed radar. There's no sign of them then. 
No, nothing yet. Hey, hang on, Sam. What's this? It's someone's hanky. And there's an S on it. It's Sarah's. Then that means they must have gone through the gate. Well, I'll go and look. You stay here in case they find their way back. Okay, Sam. That's funny. I, w I was sure we were going the right way. We're lost because of you. It's not my fault. Just because... Oh! Oh! Sarah! The ground's swallowing me up! Here. Grab my hand. Uh, it's no good. I can't reach. Don't panic, Sarah. Help! Help, somebody! Help! Help! Sarah! James, I'm on my way. Uncle Sam, oh, please, oh, come quickly. It's all right. I'm here now. Okay, Sarah, keep quite still. I can't come forward or I'll sink too. Fireman Sam to Firefighter Penny Morris. Over. Hello, Sam. Any luck? Over. Drive down that track just as fast as you can. Understood, Sam. I can see your headlights now. We are straight ahead. I'll get the rope. You prepare the winch. Right, Sarah. I'm going to throw you this rope. Now you've got to get the loop under your arm. Okay, Uncle Sam. One, two, there we are. Got it. Good girl. She's secure now. Start winching. Right you are. Hold on tight, Sarah. I am. You're almost there. Try, try and grab my hand. Now, there we are. Not too clean, but not the worse. Thanks, Uncle Sam. Buono appetito! My mama always says to me, a spaghetti bolognese makes you forget your troubles. What's that fire engine? Oh, and what are you two doing here? You're supposed to be in the pictures. How did you know that? Oh, it, uh, it just, uh, comes to me. No, it doesn't. Uh, I told you this morning about going to Penny. Oh, oh, what a little chatterbox Norman can be. When we use the firebell chime, Fireman Sam is there on time. Someone might be in a jam. So hurry, hurry, Fireman Sam. He's always on the scene. Fireman Sam and his engine bright and clean. Fireman Sam, you cannot ignore. Sam is the hero next door. Pandy's buzzing with charity today. 
The fire service is raising money for the children's hospital and Trevor the bus is helping Bella with her home improvements. Morning, Trev. What's this? Laying pavements? Well, I got more than I bargained for when I offered to put Bella's shower in. What have you got there, Sam? This case is full of raffle money. Oh, I got some of that. Here you are, Sam. Good man. That should bring us up to 300 pounds. Tidy little donation, that. Anyone in? Good heavens. Bella, is this a cafe or a junk shop? Trevor is so kind. He put the unsweety shower in my bedroom, and I have a good clean out at the same time. Now then, Bella, how about a raffle ticket? Of course. Give me a whole book. Oh, no. Everything is all over the floor. <laughs> well, that's no problem. Oh, a grassy son. Here you are, then. There's your tickets. I sell them to all the... Oh, Mamma Mia! I have the butterfingers today. Well, it's a beautiful basket of fruit, Elvis. It's funny. It's not like her, that. Being generous. Well, I think it's very kind of her. Who's that, then? Hello, Sam. Mrs. Price has donated this fruit. Well, she can't be feeling very well. Mm. Whoever wins these will have a dicky tummy, too. What's all this, Five and Sam? The charity appeal, sir. The raffles already raised 300 pounds. Excellent. I knew I'd raise the money. You'll uh, find the bed for this afternoon's bedfush round the back. I uh, only wish I could help you. Are you okay back there? Bandy Hill's quite steep, isn't it? Oh, you're telling me it is. Oh, I feel as though my feet are at the bottom and my head's at the top. <laughs> The day is dawning. I have the shower tomorrow morning. All finished out here. I'll start packing up. Ah, cappuccino time. Cool. Wet cement. Hiya, Mr. Evans. Norman Price, you stay where you are. I don't trust you near my nice level concrete. I only want to write my name in it. That's... Oh, no. None of your tricks, Norman. Of course not. Would you like one of my boiled sweets? Oh, well, I don't mind if I do. Thank you, no. Oh, Norman Price, you wait till I tell your mother. <laughs> I don't know. What kind of a bus does Trevor Evans think he's running? A slow coach? Hello, dearies. We're on a sponsored bed push. Push? Don't ask me to help. I haven't got enough energy to push my shopping trolley. Never mind a lump of old iron. Now, where's Trevor the bus got to? No need to wait for a bus. You can have a lift on the bed. Seeing as you're insisting, Sam, I don't mind if I do. Mmm. Oh, well, it's quite comfy, really, isn't it? Charity begins at home. That's what I always say. I can't spoke. Now let's check this 300 pounds. Good grief. Where's the money? Oh, 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 I feel like the Queen of Sheba. Well, that wasn't such a bad ride after all. Thank you, Sam. Here you are, dearies. Well, there's a little treasure trove. I think I am nearly finished now. Ah. Uh, Bella, you're not going to leave this stuff cluttering up the pavement, are you? No, I'm making the bonfire in the back of garden. Yes, now what, what we got here? It, what? You're going to burn all this? It's only rubbish. Oh, yes, I, I can see that. Did you see Dillis's face when she was riding down the road? Hey, <laughs> thought she was the bee's knees, didn't she? Fireman Sam, here we are, sir. A good few tenors to add to the 300. Would you step into my office, please? Count this penny. 
Oh, Eck, something's up. What is it, sir? Well, a uh, bit of a mystery. There was no money in the cash. Not a penny. Well, where's it gone? When did you see it last? Well, this morning, sir, when I sold Bella some tickets. Hang on. This isn't my case. What? The rubbish will be sent us in no time, and the shower is working. Grazie, Trevori. Hello, Coffee Bella. Sam. Bella, listen carefully. Do you remember seeing a black Atasha case this morning? It's all right, sir. I think we found it. It's in the coffee. Bella, we'll come and fetch it now. Oh, no, Sam. I just put everything on the bonfire. Sam? All present and correct, sir. Right. Let's go. What's going on? Oh, that cat. Man, the hell's you? Oh, great fires of London. I'm afraid we're too late. Oh, dear. What a tragedy. 300 pounds gone up in smoke. Oh, it's a my head. Sam, I'm so sorry. Oh. Bella, Bella Lasagna, where's that daft Italian millionaire What on earth's going on? Look what I found. Three hundred pounds. I don't believe it. Three hundred pounds, I'm telling you. She must have money to burn. Tell us you don't know how close to the truth you are. And I can't thank you enough. That's the raffle ticket money. Oh, third time lucky. Concreting's finished, Bella. Oh, at last. And if I may say so myself, I've done it to a T. Oh, now who's done that? Norman Price! Trevor the bus is on his way to Ponty Pandy Fire Station. Hello there, my sugar lumps. I'm just doing some filming in the park, practicing my new job in the service. Do you want to help? Filming? Wow, that's wicked. 
I have to film real rescues. That way, we can see if we're doing everything properly. Now then, if you want to be in this film, you have to do something. I'll sing a song, and I'll do a dance from our school show. Right then. Cameras rolling, and action. Oh, I'll show them some action. Hey, look at me. Oh. Her name's Dillis, too. Dillis Davis from Newtown found an old heirloom in the attic, and she's a millionaire now. And what's more, she's got a photo in the party funny times. She's rich and famous, she is. This is a prize. You want to make it? You look in your attic. <coughs> you know, I never thought I'd hear myself say this. But that's a very good idea you just had there. Right, men. Today's drill is search and snatch. Our aim is to locate the dummy in a smoke-filled room using a thermal imagery camera, which will also record the exercise. Right, men. Smoke chamber now full. Fireman Sam, you'll be team leader. Very good, sir. Fireman Samsa, pressure 180 bar. Correct. Fireman Evan, 200. Correct. Uh, 190. Hello, sir. Uh, wish me luck. Mm. Oh, what a wicked half pipe. Cool. Norman? Norman? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, ma'am. Sweets, all right. You're supposed to be looking after the shop, not eating the profits. I know, Mum. I wouldn't dream of it. Oh, spit on the murky side. Now then, let's have some light on the subject. Capacity did in this room. Norman's Teddy. I remember the day he bit its arm off. Testing his gums, he was. Ah, there it is. Daddy's old sea chest. Hang on to your curlers, Dill. This could be your lucky day. Now, what do we got here? A Welsh dolly. <laughs> Mallet. Oh. That's good for nothing but ten pegs, that is. Family heirlooms, indeed. Family airbrushes, more like. Funny. I can smell burning. I haven't got a cake in the oven. No, man. Flaming, Nora! Who did that? What I'm going to show you is the unedited version of today's exercise, provisionally entitled Flaming Tower. Oh, get on with it, Evans. Oh, oh yes, right, horse, yeah. Uh, right, and there we are. You have to do something. I'll sing a song, and I'll do a dance from our school oh. show. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Look up. Oh! Whee! Oh! Oh! oh. Uh, yes. Well, where's my training film? I know it's in here somewhere. I wish we could make a video. So do I. Hey, look. There's smoke coming out of Dillis's roof. Come on, James. We've got to call the fire brigade. Now, here we go, sir. This bit is Sam successfully retrieving the dummy. Okay, I'll be right. Yeah, got him. Oh, jolly good, Evans. Ah. Hey, now for the real thing, boys. Fire at Dillis Pro. 
Spice's general store. All present and correct, sir. Right, let's go. I want you to slowly make your way along the roof. Keep cool. Oh, yes, you know me. Cool as a... Oh, that's hot. Cucumber. Yes, right to sir. Ooh. Come on, dearest. Show us what you're made of. Oh, yes. I'll... Pardon? Show... Oh, show you what I'm made of. Yes. Oh, oh I'll come down. How's that? Delicious. You're an excellent cook. Oh, Trevor, you are a one. Uh, right then, I'll do the dishes. Why don't you watch the news, Norman? I'm not fussy about the news. It's always boring. Handy this afternoon as Dillis Price, proprietor of Price's General Store. Oh my goodness! That's that's me. Oh. You said you wanted to be famous, so I popped the video into the TV station. You never did! The statue found in her attic was valued at more than £2,000. What? £2,000? I don't believe it! It's true. Station officer Steele checked up. You know you look good on television, Dillis. Perhaps you should have been a film star. Yes, not too late, you know. When Sam is plotting an adventure. Hmm. To 
12 degrees west. Now that means that if the wind speed strengthens... Uncle Sam! Yoo-hoo! Where are you? I'm in the lounge, doing my calculations for the balloon flight this afternoon. Balloon flight? The commander has decided that Ponty Pandy Fire Station be given the honor of flying the hot air balloon for fire service week. Go on, ask him. Uncle Sam, we were thinking we'd love to go up in a hot air balloon. I bet it's a wonderful experience. So, can we? Perhaps. You have to wait and see. Oh, I don't know. Another super duper market's opening on the Newtown Road. Well, this is one corner shop that's fighting back. I mean, who wants to push a trolley around a warehouse with wheels with a mind of their own when they can come here and get service with a smile? Oh! No, man! Whoops. Sorry, Mum. The crap just went off on its own. Navy blue! How many times have I told you not to point that thing at me? For that, you can go delivering these leaflets, telling everybody about Dennis's discounts. Whee! One for Bella, Air Meal. Who's next? Ah, here's two prime targets. Do you think we can persuade Uncle Sam to take us? Hope so. Ah! Uh, oh! Whee! Norman, look what you've done. Stick him up, or you'll bite the dust. Have a deco at this, James. My mum will sell you another ice cream. Cheaper, too. I can get rid of quite a few in here, too. What's that noise? I'd better investigate round the back. Wow! Flipping heck! A flying fire engine! There! She's a beauty! Oh, I, uh, I, I think I'll give it a miss this time, Sam. Well, don't be so worried, Trev. What goes up must come down. Exactly. That's what's worrying me. <laughs> well, you can still give me a hand with the ballast. Sandbags are in the storeroom. The sooner we get them, the sooner I'll be floating on those thermals. Brill! Piracy on the airwaves! I, Captain Long John Norman, do capture this vessel in the name of Dennis's Discountables. What? Mutiny in the ranks? I'll have them walk in the plank. Uh oh, oh. Norman, what are you doing in there? W would you like one of Mum's free offer vouchers? I'm making the offers, Norman Price. Out to the basket now, or... Yes, Fireman Sam. Come on, let's get the ballast on board. He's a cheeky boy. I'll go and get the other bags, Trap. Nobody crosses Long John Norman. Takes after his mother, he does. Fire the cannons! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, my giddy aunt! Let go of the burner chain! Sam, don't rock the boat, Trev! Oh, heck! My mum will kill me! A leaflets are on the balloon! Where's the brakes? Oh, all my bus driving experience. I should be able to drive a balloon. Oh, no. I feel sick. Well, I told her straight. Rationing isn't coming back. I mean, who needs 24 bags of sugar all at once just because they're going cheap? You're too low, Trev. Pull on the burner chain. He's forgotten his fire engine. It's cut out, Sam. I'm coming down. Chuck out the sandbags, then. All right. Here you go. Ah. Look! It's a Trevari! Oh, yes. 
Now, what's wrong with his bus, I'd like to know? Norman! I did see you there. Now, why are you back so early? Sorry, Norman. Every bit counts. What did you do with my leaflets? Delivered them, Mum, like you told me. Delivered them? Where? I did exactly what you said. I covered the whole of Paddy Pandy. So I see. Oh, how do you steer this thing? Useless machine. Oh, no. No, I made it straight for St. Giles' steeple. Oh. I'll call the station. Nine, nine, nine. Now who needs the fire service? Good heavens. Evans, stuck on a steeple. All present and correct, sir. Right. Let's go. Get to work, men. Stand by to slip. Oh, I hate all this hanging about. End. Well, into the building. I'm on my way, Trev. I could, oh, oh, quick, Sam. It's a long way down. Be up with you in two ticks. Let him, oh, let him make that one tick, Sam. He's, he's hanging by a thread. Now, you, you just try and relax, Trevor. Relax. Collapse more likely. Oh. Now, just oh. climb onto my shoulders. Yes. And uh. don't, don't look down. No. Right. Come on. Oh, that's it. Now, there you are, you see. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Sam. I was going all wobbly. Oh, that's better. Well, thanks very much, boy. Oh, I, oh, I've gone all wobbly again. Oh. I don't know what came over you, Norman Price. Poor Mr. Evans. What you did to him don't bear remembering. Now you give me that cap gun and you go and tell Mr. Evans you're sorry. Yes, ma'am. Good riddance. Oh! Well, now, are you enjoying yourself, kids? Wow. Well, wicked high up. Pondy Pandy looks like Toy Town. Oh, look. There's Norman. Where? There. Oh. 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 What? Well, thanks a bundle. Hmm. You haven't got any strawberry, have you? Hey! hey. When 